This is Ron Higgins with NOLA.com and the Times Community. Wednesday, May 27th edition of the first cup of coffee. The first thing that comes to my mind every morning about college sports. It's day two here in Destin of the Southeastern Conference business meetings. And this morning, football coaches will meet with athletic directors, followed by basketball coaches and women's basketball coaches. And they'll discuss any possible legislation or issues that all the coaches uh, have come up on their meetings yesterday. And then the presidents will come in tomorrow and begin meeting tomorrow afternoon and Friday. Any legislation that will be passed will be passed Friday and announcements will be made. Um, also, I mean, the, the, the biggest topic here so far has been satellite camps, which the SEC coaches are, are still adamantly against, and they want to introduce legislation nationally that will cut out satellite camps. Good luck with that one because not many people feel sorry for the SEC after they've won seven national titles in the last nine years So, I don't in, in football. So I don't know if you'll get much traction on that, even though the, the, the theory is good what the SEC coaches want. I don't know if they'll get it or not. Uh, also, a big uh, topic of discussion was, was uh, uh, the scholarships uh, and, and the new NCAA reforms that are, are coming about. Uh, the, the, those were discussed. Uh, they'll continue to be discussed. Uh, also, you probably have basketball scheduling discussed today as basketball teams in the SEC continue to try to upgrade their schedules. I know talking to Johnny Jones yesterday, uh, we're going to talk again today, but uh, Johnny told me yesterday that the uh, LSU Australian tour is set for the first week of August. The LSU will go to Australia and get some good work in over there uh, prior to the season. Uh, and so, uh, of course, losing uh, Jarrell Martin and Jordan Mickey, they'll need some of that work. Uh, the freshmen, incoming freshmen, are, are ineligible to play on this trip, so it'll just be the guys on the team, and, and a lot of those guys need a lot of work because they didn't get a lot of minutes last year. Uh, also, uh, tomorrow night, Mike Slav is expected to give a great speech in his final uh, you know, few, uh, few days here at the, at the meeting. Of course, he retires July 31st as SEC commissioner. And on Friday, they'll divvy up the big paycheck, over $300 million uh, of you know, revenue sharing divided among the teams. It's expected that the SEC network will pay each team at least $5 million for the first year. As Mike Sly pointed out yesterday, it's the most successful cable launch of any network in cable history. So the SEC network did its job the first year. So we'll, we'll get back to you tomorrow, see what happens. This is Ron Higgins. We'll know it by common in the time to begin. And that's the first cup of coffee from Destin, Florida. We'll see you.